Okay, so I was originally going to cover a lot of the ReZero break time and how it explores different points in the ReZero timeline, like how we explore what's going on with the mansion while all the current events with the Witch's Cult is happening in Pristella. Felix berating Subaru for completely breaking his gate in Arc 4 because they didn't know that that happened because that was an Amelia thing and how important Beatrice is for Subaru in that regard and other stuff like that. This break time, however, that came out that I'm now being aware of kind of changes a lot because this is such important information that honestly, it should have been in the main anime story. Now, you think anime onlys? Why? It's just a backstory for a character that isn't in the Amelia camp, and you are right. Until you eventually realize that Al will play, well, will eventually play one of the most important roles in later arcs. Now, even in the later arcs, I will say that it may not feel like the backstory matters, but without wanting to spoil, it's just a big thing of having our main isekai protagonist meeting another character that is also an isekai guy. Now, in both the web novel and light novel, this information was revealed back in arc 3, when Subaru was with Al and Priscilla while they were heading off to do the royal selection stuff. And this was in volume 4, where Al mentioned that he's been isekai for 18 years, with this break time revealing being 19 because of the one year time skip from arcs 4 and 5, season 2 and 3. Is this the worst thing for ReZero to do? Like, would it completely break everything? No, not really. I mean, in terms of putting it in the break time. Is this the best way to reveal such a thing? No, it should have been revealed in the anime, like in the proper anime. Yes, there are stuff like Roswell's first meeting with the Witch of Greed that we saw in Season 2. Being only from an exclusive side story that you can only get in some stores from what I was aware of. Which means majority of the overall fan base won't be aware of such details for a long while until eventually someone tells about it. And, okay. I think in my opinion, of course, the discourse of this is... I would have preferred if they had some mention of this in the main anime. However, I'm not opposed to having it in the break time. It is a little baffling since they could have added this scene in episode 1, but what's done is done. i rather something than nothing, though I will question who thought it would be a good idea to have this important L lore in the break time. Anyway, that's not all I have to say just yet there was something that i want you all to keep in mind thanks to an user of x that being stride Valakia for showing a an english subtitle version which thank you uh because something caught my attention with this little revelation that i don't see a lot of people talking about it right now al had told biako using the nickname biako to take care of subaru now she responds in a tsundere manner that she was going to do that anyway and that only Subaru can call her Biako. To which Al's response was, yeah, I know, all too well. Al, my friend, Aldebrand, the goat, what the hell did you mean by that? Now, is it possible that Al equals Subaru theory might be true. Like, Al is Subaru, or Subaru's Al, or something around those lines. Could Al be connected to Subaru in some way since his name means... Well, since Aldebrand's name means follower, toward, because it followed the Pleiades, which Subaru in Japanese means Pleiades star cluster, or, you know, the stars, the Pleiades. All that fun stuff. I mean, let's consider the game of ReZero Lost in Memories. On a what-if scenario where Subaru survived the first encounter with Betelgeuse instead of dying to Puck and with a 20-year time skip, to see him have one arm being robotic and dressed like Al. That and now this should prove more than enough to say there's some kind of connection between Al and Subaru. Somehow and some way. Are the two one and the same? Maybe, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this whole ordeal. 
the mess of how this was revealed, this entire information, as well as the reveal itself and the small conversation Al had with Biko. I'm genuinely curious. What did you all think?